Hello everyone and welcome back to Bitcoin Tips. So today we're going to be talking how you, about how you can start mining Ethereum POW today using your Windows 10 or 11 based computer here in 2024 in less than 10 minutes. So if all of that sounds interesting to you, I do want to make sure to ask you to stick around through the entire video so that you don't miss out on any of the great tips and tricks that I have to not only get you up and running faster, but also save you money on your pool mining fees. So before we dive into the video, I do always like to start off here on CoinMarketCap just taking a look at what's going on in the market as a point of reference if you happen to be watching this in the future. So if you aren't interested in this portion of the video, please feel free to skip ahead one to two minutes and we'll be getting into the site then. But as you can see, we are still down across the board here uh, for crypto, a total market cap of $2.11 trillion, down about 1% today. Of course, leading the charge here, um, you know, we're seeing most of the top 10 in the red. Uh, Tron is the only one. Uh, there's a few that are just, you know, those are the uh, stable coins. But Tron is really the only crypto that's up today in the top 10. Uh, but we do still see a few scatters of green in the seven day chart. So again, I don't think this is anything to be too concerned about. You know, seeing a little bit of sell off means that using sites like Unminable and Faucets and all of that helps to build your holdings now. So if we search up uh, Ethereum, uh, let me uh, remind myself what the uh, symbol is here, ETHW. Uh, we can see here that Ethereum POW is priced right now at $3.40, which is down about 4.73% today. Looking at their all-time chart, you can see that when this coin first started around uh, August of 2022, so about two years ago, uh, it was around $99. It's since fallen quite a bit. Now, of course, with Ethereum POW kind of being a fork of the main Ethereum, you know, we've seen this with Bitcoin, you know, these coins don't usually get much higher than their, you know, parent coin like Ethereum uh, in this case. But as you can see here, even just a little while back in uh, April, May of this year, this coin was over $5, almost $6. So that is, you know, $2 and, and 60 cents of gain that you could get if you assume this coin will jump back up at least to that $5 mark. And hey, who knows, this coin at one point was $99, which is a $96 profit on every coin you hold now, if it was to just get back to that point. So how do you start mining this coin? Well, we're going to be using Unminable. Now, I want to first start off by saying that Unminable, while it does pay you out in the coins and say you're mining them, that is not the case for every coin. I've seen questions about this. Basically, what Unminable does is it allows you to choose the most profitable mining algorithm for your computer, and it mines the most profitable coin on that algorithm. So. At the time of recording, for me and most people watching this, the most profitable algorithm is going to be the Kapow algorithm. If you have a relatively new NVIDIA or AMD GPU, this will most likely be the best for you. But depending on when you're watching this, I always recommend using whattomine.com to check out your specific hardware and see what is best. But as you can see, this is actually mining Ravencoin and paying you out in ETH POW. So that's something to keep in mind. But how do you get started? So what you're going to do is go ahead and select to get started with our wizard. Now, before we dive too far in, I don't know if I mentioned, but the link to this site is down below in the description. I would highly recommend using that link as it will save you 25% on your mining fee, um, which I'll get to in just a minute and talk about in depth, but it also does support the channel. But once you're on the site, go ahead and select get started with our wizard. You can then select basic. There is an advanced option if you run into issues with the miner connecting to the pool or you just want to specify more stuff about your worker, feel free to choose advanced. I'm going to be following the GPU section as would most people watching this, um, but if you do want to mine with your CPU or you're following along on a Mac, feel free to choose the CPU option. I do have a video specifically how to use this site to mine with a Mac, so I would check that out if you are following along on that platform. Here's where you'll choose your mining algorithm. Again, I am most, you know, most likely, I think everybody's going to go with Kapow, um, but 
please check what's best for you. And you'll actually notice that ET hash is available here where you'd actually be mining ETHW or ETH POW straight up, but that's not always the most profitable path forward. So that's where unminable really shines. Even though this is a mineable coin, you can actually mine more of it by doing Raven and having them convert it over for you. Here's where you'll choose your coin. Again, we're going with ETH POW here, but please feel free to choose whatever coin you're most interested in. Or, um, you know, the tutorial does work for most of these coins here. At this point, you'll enter in your ETH POW address. Please double and triple check that this is correct. As you can see, if I delete this five, it calls this out and says, hey, this seems to be an invalid address, but if I replace it with a six, it says everything is good to go. Now, of course, with that being a six, I will not get paid out. So please double and triple check that you get your address from your wallet fully and completely pasted in here. At this point, you can hit next and you'll be at the final step here where you can enter in a referral code. Now, I do have a code here, as you see on screen, Bitcoin-Tips, capital B, capital T. This is also embedded in the link that's in the description below. It helps out the channel if you do use this, but it also helps you out. As I mentioned, using this code or the link in the description will save you 25% on your mining fee. So here on Unminable, there is a flat 1% mining fee, meaning if you mine 100 ETH POW coins, you will pay one of those coins to Unminable, only keeping 99 of them. That doesn't matter if this coin is $3 or $99. It doesn't matter if you do that mining in a day or in a year, you're always gonna pay that 1% fee. But using this code will actually reduce that fee from 1% down to 0.75%, saving you 25% on that fee, meaning that for every 100 coins, you get to keep 99.25. So it really does add up over time. And if you do anticipate the coin that you're mining, in this case, ETH POW, really going up in value, the more coins that you can keep for your hard work, the better. So please feel free to use that code or continue without and pay the higher fee. But at this point, we are ready to download the miner and get started. So as you can see here, all you have to do is choose a miner. I'm going to recommend G Miner as it is the most profitable um, or not profitable, but most stable one that I've used. Um, the miner shouldn't affect your profits, but uh, all of these other miners do work really well. I just happen to have had a lot of really good luck with the um, you know, G miner in general. So keep that in mind, but please feel free to choose whatever you're most interested in. But what you'll go ahead and do is select download miner files. This will take you to the GitHub page where you just have to select the Windows 64 zip, download that and extract it. Please make sure to extract it. If you don't extract the files, they will not work. Then what you're gonna do is come back here and select download.bat file. As you can see, this downloaded a file to my computer, but Google says, hey, we've blocked this because it's unverified you are gonna have to say download unverified file if you wanna continue. Now, if you're not comfortable with this, please just say delete from history and move on. Find a faucet, find a cloud mining site. Mining is not for you. This is just part of mining. Once you download that and accept it, if you are willing to do so, you'll go ahead and drag and drop this file into the folder with the rest of the files you just extracted. So as you can see here down at the very bottom, I have unminable ethw kapow gminer.bat. At this point, all you need to do is double click this to get started. So as you can see, when I double click it, I actually get another pop-up saying, hey, Windows has protected your PC. Again, you are gonna have to say more info and run anyway. If you're not comfortable doing this, please just find something else to do to earn crypto because this is unfortunately is a part of mining. It's not just an unminable thing. It's not an ETH POW thing. It is a crypto mining issue. So go ahead and say run anyway if you are comfortable with that. And as you can see here, the CMD window opens and we are up and running mining with my RTX 2080. We are about nine and a half minutes into this video, and that included about two and a half minutes of intro with CoinMarketCap, talking about prices, 
So you can see here that in about six or seven minutes, we got up and running mining using Unminable. So it is really that simple. Now, just a few final callouts that I always like to mention here in these videos. When you start mining, it does take about 15 to 30 minutes for stats to show up here on the website. That's completely normal. If it doesn't show up after about an hour, I would double check that you have your address correct both in the file and when you go to paste it into the website to look at your stats. And if that still isn't working, go through this tutorial again, start over from scratch, just generate a new folder, make sure everything is looking right here in, in the uh, window, no red text errors, anything like that. And if you're still running into issues, please feel free to leave a comment down below. And on the other side, when you are ready to be done mining, all you have to do is find this CMD window and close it with the red X. You might be thinking, why am I telling you how to close a window? Well, there's a weird thing here on Unminable that when you close the miner, if it's been running for a while, it's established, you're seeing your stats on the website, you'll actually continue seeing those stats and possibly even payments for up to 12 hours after stopping the miner. It's happened to me. It's gone for about 12 hours, maybe even longer. It's really strange, and I, I don't really have an explanation as to why it does that. But I have seen the question of, you know, hey, I've closed this mining CMD window, but I'm still getting paid. Is it still mining? The answer is no. As long as that CMD window is closed, you're good to shut your computer down. You're good to play games, edit a video, whatever you want to do with your computer. But as long as that's closed, you're no longer mining. So again, thank you so much for watching. If you did have any questions or run into any issues, please feel free to leave a comment down below. Always happy to help try and get you up and running using the comment section. And if you liked this video, please consider liking and subscribing to Bitcoin Tips to stay up to date on all things crypto. And again, please feel free to use that uh, referral code so that you can save on your pool mining fee. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.